Today we're going to get to meet Storm Connors, alternative energy enthusiast in Barkhamstead, Connecticut. As Storm pulls into his driveway, he notices it's not too sunny out, and the photovoltaic panels mounted to his house might not be generating too much electricity. This meter tells us what we're producing right now. It's a cloudy day, 620 watts. This meter tells how much electricity we've produced with the panels since they were installed. And right now it's 23,178 kilowatts, uh, which means 23 million watts have been produced. And this little meter has two displays. One shows how much I've purchased from the power company, and the other display is how much I've sold to the power company. Uh, if I use any of it while it's being produced, it doesn't go through this meter at all. Want to gas her up? Plug it in anywhere. <laughs> Here we can see the engine compartment where the electric engine is going to be mounted into the car. And Storm explains the system to us. These are the batteries that make it go. And down underneath there you can see the electric motor sticking out that actually drives the car. The electric motor is attached right to the to the stock clutch, so everything from the clutch back is standard Suzuki. The controller, and that's, that's what uh, allows you to have different speeds. These guys are big, big electrical switches that turn the power on and off uh, from the batteries to the motor. So the electricity goes from the battery through here into the controller. And then on the other side of the car, you see a thing that looks like pipe fitting here. And this is the is connected to the accelerator pedal. And as you move this, as it moves this in and out, it can, it sends a signal to the controller over there to tell it how much power you want to give it. Kind of like the trigger on your electric drill. The amp, the amps and the volts tell you how much energy that you're using when you're driving the car. Just thought it was kind of interesting, and it, one of the things that disturbs me is that we're sending all this money to people who really hate us. We've had about a hundred years of development on the gasoline engine automobile, which we refer to, by the way, as an ICE, ICE, an internal combustion engine, and we're the electric vehicles. Back in the beginnings of the car, there were electric vehicles and steam vehicles and gasoline vehicles. And electric vehicles were by far the more popular. The electric cars were very popular among women especially because they didn't have to be cranked to start them. The problem that the electric cars had was that the electricity was not available everywhere as it is today. Uh, many parking garages provided charging facilities for your electric car. When the electric starter came out for gasoline engines uh, that did away with that problem and they were much cheaper and so the rest is history henry ford and all of a sudden we have the gasoline engine winning out in the little contest storm likes to enter his vehicle into car shows where he can educate people on the benefits of an electric car and he also is in local parades if you'd like to learn more about storm check out his blog